Hey guys, welcome back. You guys were asking, you wanted the blooming semicolon. I kind of want to say it like an English person. Do you want the blooming semicolon? <laughs> I'll give you the blooming semicolon. <laughs> okay, I apologize for anyone I may have offended with my, my attempt at an English accent. I actually, my mom came from England. And um, I still have family that live in England, which I love and adore so much. Um, and yeah, when I was little, I was raised with a, an English accent. So, <laughs> uh, but I quickly became Canadian. Quickly, when I was being made fun of at school for my strange accent. Um, so I, I don't know really how I feel about this one. I hope you guys love it. Um, you did see a glimpse of it in my last semicolon video. Um, the symbol to me, as well as many others, is a symbol of continuing on, keep going. Um, with the semicolon project, um, you can definitely Google it and, and look, at, look into it a little bit more. Um, but basically, the author, when they write a book, they have the chance to and their story, correct? And instead, they chose to keep going. They chose to keep writing. They weren't done their story yet. Um, so that's what they put instead of a period, they put a semicolon. And that means uh, hope. That means it's going to be tough. There are going to be times where you want to give up, but don't. You keep writing your story. So, I wanted to bring another semicolon out. I asked you guys if you wanted it. I would say by the comments in my last semicolon video, you guys wanted this. <laughs> I mean, what a beautiful gesture to leave or hide or gift to someone um, who might be struggling or just needs that little ray of sunshine, that little bit of hope. It means so much. Just a simple symbol like this means so much. So if you see someone with a semicolon tattoo or a semicolon on their phone grip, because I've got a few of them in my shop, if you see that, that's that's what it is. So I kind of went overboard with the flowers blooming out of my semicolon. And now at the end, you can barely tell that it's a semicolon. So that's the only problem I have with it. I shouldn't have bloomed it too much. <laughs> um, but you guys can decide. It's You know what it is because I'm explaining it to you as we go along. Um, but if you were to see it just laying there, would you still see the semicolon? I hope so. Um, it's beautiful. I mean, it's, it's just a bunch of flowers on a rock. So it still looks beautiful no matter what. Um, and I'm just being random with it. I'm making up my own little shapes of flowers. You're going to be able to see them a lot better uh, once I fill them in with color. Because right now, I'm just outlining everything in gold. You guys can watch me with my fine lining brush um, and my Mayan gold paint. This, I, I love this part. I love deciding what it's going to look like. And then after that, I fill it in with colors. So this rock's going to get a little bit darker when I seal it with resin. So you'll notice that change. It looks really light right now, um, but uh, it is going to change. So keep that in mind. I'm not painting the background. I'm keeping it its natural stone color because I love doing that. That's one of my favorite things to do with my Lake Superior stones. Um... So I'm, I am, I'm, I'm doing like a little swirly curly cue here and a curly cue there and some dots here and some leaves there. Uh, but it's hard to tell right now. You'll, you'll understand. You can use silver, you can use gold. You don't even have to do this. You can just outline everything in black if you want or white. Um, but let me know if you can still see the semicolon when I'm done. I'm, sh I, I feel that I over bloomed. <laughs> So don't overbloom. Don't go overboard so that you can't see the actual shape of the semicolon. But I like to hang things out the lines like that. Um, it's just, you know, I like that. I don't like staying within the lines. You can't hold me back. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well. I realize that it is Memorial Weekend for uh, Memorial Day weekend. Sorry, I, is that how? Sorry, I hope I'm not messing it up. Um, in the States, 
right? I don't know if it's anywhere else. Uh, we just had our long weekend, um, which is Victoria Day weekend. Um, yeah, so we just had our long weekend and it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And this weekend is even nicer. <laughs> so anyone who is celebrating or has celebrated, um, that's awesome. I hope you're having an amazing time. I hope that you are able to see some of your friends and family, uh, celebrate, um, close to people, not just on your own. Uh, we're still, we are still alone <laughs> here in Canada. Uh, at least we are in Ontario. I don't know about the rest of everywhere. Did I just say about like a Canadian? I did, didn't I? About, 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 I'm sorry. I don't, I don't sound like a Canadian most of the time, or at least I don't think I do. Um, but when I watch like Canadian television shows or um, people making fun of Canadians on like, say, Saturday Night Live or something, then it's like, oh, we do not sound like that. Are you kidding me? Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe we do. I'll have to think about it. <laughs> so I am coloring in. I've used a little bit of magenta, a little bit of white, a little bit of blue, um, and I'm just going to color it all in now, just like a coloring book. That's why I like this. Um, you be creative. You can create whatever shapes of flowers you want to, or you can do uh, what I've done here, but don't over bloom. <laughs> you can if you want, if you don't mind, if, if nobody can see your semicolon, you can just, just put flowers all, completely cover the flower, the rock in in flowers. That's all you, you need to do. <laughs> um, I will apologize to anyone who is sick of flowers, who is sick of gold, who is sick of glitter. Uh, welcome to Rachel's Rocks. Um, you, you do have the option to visit other channels that do not offer gold and glitter. Um, this channel, there's a whole lot of that. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. Also, there will be giggling. There will be random silly jokes and terrible vocabulary words that don't belong. Um, but that's what I am here and we just like to paint and have fun. So welcome. Please hit the sub subscribe button if you have not already. And don't forget to share because that makes my heart smile when you share. Also, there's been a few people that recently sent me PayPal donations. I just want to say personally from the bottom of my heart, it's been really tough lately to keep up on my Etsy shop. You guys might have noticed that it's been a little dry lately, um, as well as I haven't had time to do a lot of tutorials again. So there was a, a little while in May, uh, maybe at the beginning of May or the end of April, where I was able to put up like a whole bunch of tutorials. And that felt so good. Uh, I knew that I was making you guys happy and I'm making myself happy. And, you know, it gets me some views on my YouTube channel. Um, but boy, it's been slow because, and I, I want to apologize to you guys for that as well. Um, but there's been a, a whole lot of homeschooling, <laughs> a whole lot of homeschooling, um, a whole, I'm painting, like I'm trying to get the inside of my house done because we've been here for a year in, uh, in August and I still have rooms to paint and decorate. That's why I haven't shown you guys a video of my home, um, because there's still so much that has to be done that I thought I was going to be able to do while the kids were at school and they're not in school. <laughs> And here comes summer. It's coming very fast. Um, so I've been trying to get like my 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 gardens ready. And now I'm trying to get the indoors done so that I can spend the summer outside with my beautiful kids. Um, so, yeah, um, I we surprised my my little guy with a tire swing in the backyard. So I'm going to add a little clip of him. uh on the tire swing because it, from the bottom of my heart, like I swear, that's the one thing I dreamed of as a child. I didn't like, I wasn't like a planning my wedding when I'm nine, you know, I really wasn't. I didn't know if I was going to get married. Um, but one thing I did want was like a nice safe home with a tire swing 
and a, a beautiful deck and flowers and gardens and and a beautiful home for my kids, right? So finally, <laughs> at the age of 43, we buy our first home. And I finally have trees and a backyard for like we've lived in homes before, but they weren't ours. We were renting and paying out our butts um, for, you know, not such nice places or, or nice neighborhoods or, you know, and it was tough. And it's not easy to save up for a house, especially when, you know, you, you paint rocks <laughs> for a living. Um, so it's been it's been tough. So um, I'm just so grateful that I get to enjoy this now even though my kids are kind of growing up, <laughs> they still have this. And just seeing that tire swing out in the backyard made my my heart just flutter. It made me so happy. And when my son came home from grandma's, uh, he saw the swing. He got on there. He started singing. Like, he's swinging around back there, and he's singing at the top of his lungs. And it just, I realized this was, like, the best thing we could ever do is put this tire swing up. So yeah, my, my heart is so happy and full <laughs> and it's the simple things. I tell you it's the simple things, but for those of you who have donated to my PayPal channel recently, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to mention any names because a lot of people don't like that. Um, maybe I'll mention first names, uh, next time I, I get a donation. Um, but I just want you to know I really do appreciate that and it really does help us out right now a lot with with me not being able to work very much while I'm playing teacher <laughs> and playing home decor administrator. No, <laughs> I just want to sound important. Um, but yeah, so you guys can see I've added dots here and there. I've blended um, my petals with my little blending brush just added a little bit of a lighter blue to the dark blue or a little bit of pink to the white um, you guys have seen me blend before right I do it all the time and the, I'm gonna add glitter so you'll see that a little bit later too but see the flowers are really super simple nothing nothing too dramatic there nothing realistic don't even think about these being something you see at your nearest greenhouse because <laughs> you're not going to these are the flowers from my mind <laughs> and that's what makes them fun because you get to make it all up as you go um so i'm just adding random colors i'm keeping it springy you know light lighter colors except for that magenta flower and the dark blue but there's a yellow center i will be adding some more sparkle to it after I resin it I'm going to add crystals flat back crystals or Swarovskis um I hope I say that right you watch I'm not saying anything right <laughs> people just sit back and take a drink whenever I say something stupid don't do that I, sh I should warn you all no drinking games while watching my videos <laughs> you have been warned so I'm just adding centers to all my flowers. Um, I am going to attempt to outline my semicolon because I still feel like I can't see it very well. Um, we'll see how it looks once it's sealed with resin. Hopefully the darkening of the stone will bring out that gold more and we'll be able to see the shape a little bit better. But you guys let me know what you think. Let me know if you overbloomed yours <laughs> um but just keep painting don't give up it still looks beautiful even if you can't see the semicolon it still looks gorgeous somebody would be like hey I'll take that home <laughs> or they would think it's beautiful and especially if you explain that there is a hidden meaning behind this overblooming semicolon as long as they know the meaning behind it they don't really care right because it's a beautiful beautiful meaning so if you need to know any of the colors that I've used, that will be listed in the description uh, of the video, which is right below the video. Uh, usually there's a drop down arrow or a see more or even like three little dots. Um, depending on what device you're on, I don't hide anything from you guys. So everything you need to know, including the brush, the fine lining brush that I'm using, 
um, how I created that so that it's finer lining for myself. Um, dotting tools, you can get them on Amazon. You can also get them at the pinkchair.ca, the discount code Rachel Mitchell. Um, you can also paint any of these semicolons on um, handmade stones if you if you don't have stones available near you, which a lot of people don't. I definitely don't about six or seven months of the year here in Northern Ontario. Um, so I make my own rocks and I use the molds from Happy Dotting Company on Etsy. All of that information is also in the description of the video so that you can make your own stones. Whatever you want to put on them is up to you. What I use to make my stones, my resin tutorial. Whoops, I dripped something on my stone. Um, hopefully that doesn't leave a stain. <laughs> we will see. So I've added a little bit of chrome powder or mirror powder or shell powder. Um, very, very fine nail powder. I got mine from Amazon. I'm also getting a bunch more. Um, as soon as I get the chance to, I'm going to be shopping at the pink chair and I'm going to do a, a, a haul video and show you guys what I got and what I do with it. Um, but for now, I'm just using very, very fine, 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 fine glitter. And it's usually for nails, but I put it on my rocks all the time. And then I covered it with triple thick, which just keeps that glitter in place. Now, if you can just peek underneath the tire when you see his face, he is beaming from ear to ear. His head is thrown back. He is just so happy, so happy with his tire swing. I love this human so much uh, and very thankful that we were able to get a tire swing up for him while he was at Grandma's house so that it was a nice surprise. Now for the resin reveal. Now, I did say I was putting crystals. I did put little Swarovskis uh, into the centers of some of my flowers. Uh, that's not something you have to do, but I did it about six hours after I sealed it with resin when it's still really, really sticky. Uh, that really holds the crystals in place just like glue. And then I let it dry for another 10, 12 hours or so before I picked it up with my gloves. What do you guys think of it? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. If I even just gave you a little laugh or uh, inspired you just even a little bit, uh, definitely share and, and definitely come back again and visit me and paint with me again soon. I do have over 200 tutorials. Um, I even see other people doing tutorials on stuff that um, I've done tutorials on. So it's easy, fun, and you don't have to worry about making any mistakes. Keep painting, guys. I love you. Bye.